Hello, and welcome back. This is part two of my review and setup of the TrendNet 862 security camera. If you missed part one, click on the link at the bottom of the screen, and it'll take you back there and you can take a look at part one. I had to split the video into two because it just got to be a little too big and uh, YouTube just wouldn't take it. So, to continue on, I'll pick up where I left off on part one. Okay, my camera is powered up. The blue light is on. I shall proceed. Connect the network cable. hooked it up and I'm using a wired connection there we go so so it has found the camera okay this is the uh, credentials entering so you want to uh, change password. I already have one entered in. So you're going to need something from uh, between 8 and 16 characters. So I've already entered in my new password here. Well, oh, there we go. So, available wireless networks. So, select your network from this list, and then enter in the password. Okay, so here is the next screen. It wants me to disconnect the wired connection. So let me uh, do that. Take a look at our camera. You can see now that uh, I do have a green light, or as previously it was blue. So let me disconnect. See if I can do this with one hand. I don't think so. Disconnected. Okay, we're back to blue. So, uh, the uh, green light indicates wired connection. So, okay, so we're back to wireless. Click on next. Wow, I can't get this thing to connect to the wireless. I was just plugged into the uh, wired and it connected, but uh, no go on the wireless. So uh, that is very perplexing. This should have went, there's no hurdles here. That's uh, very odd. I've got an another wireless AP that I'm going to hook up and let's try that. Finally! Actually, uh, you're looking at another workstation here. This is a laptop. I'm on the other uh, wireless AP. It's a totally different unit. And I was getting the same results. And uh, what I did was just uh, retry and retry. And finally, I was able to get to this screen. So, man, oh man. Uh, lots of difficulties with this wireless setup. So, uh, I've got at least, you know, a step further. Is this it? I don't know. Let's just go next. So I'm going to click the icon here to create a desktop item. Shortcut. Got that. Let's go on the next tier. And here's where you can uh, get your app from uh, Apple or Android. I've already got mine installed on my uh, Android device. So let's go finish. Well, there we have it. We've got some uh, video, but uh, disappointing on a setup. Uh, I'm using Internet Explorer here now. 
I was unable to uh, get my Firefox to operate, so I would get uh, no video coming through. I was running a, a very early version of Firefox. I'm sure if I load the latest and greatest, that might give me some better results, but uh, I've had to use uh, Internet Explorer here. I'm uh, just going to fire up my phone and uh, see how the app works there. Okay, I'm back to where we started. I've got the camera set up here, just peeking out the back door here. And I am running wireless, so there's no cable hooked up. I uh, do have my uh, smartphone here. My application is already installed, the TrendNet Cloud View. I've got it configured. Just launch it. And looky here, we've got operation. Well, there you have it. I've uh, found that uh, when this gets into a low light condition, uh, it turns off the color and just have uh, black and white. But uh, there we have it. This thing is installed. Not without its difficulties though. I'd have to say I still got some wireless issues here that uh, on my uh, other wireless AP, I couldn't get this to work, but I'll have to go back to that one. But, uh, it was a little bit finicky, so uh, don't expect or maybe cross your fingers that it goes through a nice for you, but uh, I had to do a little bit of fighting here to get this going, but uh, overall finally got her going. So uh, good luck with your installation. Hopefully it's gone, uh, it'll go smoother than mine, but uh, be prepared. Thanks for watching. See ya.